what I've got for you today is my office drum set. It's an Alesis Command Mesh. Now I've had this drum set for probably about eight years now. I use my Alesis Strike Pro SE at home, but I've got this one here for my office. Now I have this fit into a tiny little footprint and I'll show you what I've got going on with it. I do not have it set up like you would typically have one of these drum sets set up. Now mostly I just wanna let you know that you don't have to follow the rules when it comes to how they tell you to set it up. All right, so let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. So it's the Command Mesh Special Edition eight piece electronic drum kit with mesh heads. This is what's available now. This isn't the exact kit that I'm gonna be showing you here soon, but this is what's available out there now. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. It's got three cymbal pads and you get a dual zone snare. I, and I think these are all dual zones as well, uh, which is a little bit different from, from like say the surge kit or something like that, uh, which I think is single. You can look it up. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, so yeah, we got, and it's a, it's a five piece kit. Well, five drums. So you get the bass drum, uh, hi-hat pedal, bass drum pedal, which comes with it, which is nice. Um, and then these symbols. Now the hardware that I have uh, doesn't have the symbols mounted like this. The, the symbols actually have booms that mount into the tops of uh, these here. I don't know if that's something that they changed with uh, this particular edition. Let's actually go back and see. Um, there's the regular mesh. And now these were great. Oh, here it is. Yeah. So this is the original mesh, um, not SE, which is the special edition. Um, so this is the one that we're going to be looking at. Uh, same module, I believe. This has these little uh, boom cymbal stands uh, that go into the top of these poles here, uh, the posts. So yeah, let's see if that is actually different than, uh, than the special edition. Command advanced drum module, 74 kits, 671 sounds. Now these mo this sample module isn't all that great. I'm going to be showing it to you with Easy Drummer. Um, so I'm not really going to be showing you the samples of this because I don't even have it hooked up to be able to play these. Um, but they're, they're not great. Um, but the, the pads control uh, pretty well. So... Yeah, so you can create your own uh, unique kits on here, so you can kind of mess around with what's on there. Um, I don't, it doesn't say that you can load them. Uh, user sounds, oh yeah, yeah. Well, now I don't know. Yeah, well, it's the same module, so I'm assuming that the SE would allow you to join in or... Uh, would allow you to load in uh, WAV files uh, on there. So there you have it. Let's go take a look. All right, so hopefully this is picking me up. Yeah. All right, so I have kind of a tiny office here. I'm trying to use some lights here to show that I've got this little tiny mesh kit tucked in this corner here. We'll, let's see if we can do this. Bring this camera down here. So this is where I have it tucked down in here between <laughs> between this pole and the window so it can fit in so it can fit in this little tiny space right here now this I have to use this mic so that was probably not uh, that was probably not coming in too well but here we go it's it's over here now I'm going to show you how I pull this out and set it up And then I'm going to move the bass drum over a little bit. There you have it.
Now obviously you can see this configuration is different than what you would see on there. I'm going to go over this with you. Uh, bear with me with the audio, I might have to overdub this. Okay, so... Yeah, so normally this little short guy here... So normally this little short guy here would be what the snare is mounted on. But what I did was I got rid of one of the long bars because there would be two long bars that would come out on either side of this and I got rid of one of them but I took the other one and just mounted it below here in between the two upper legs I also got rid of one of the other smaller legs and just used the one so I just have it on this tri system here now the reason for the two poles here is one to mount that down down there and two to be able to mount a couple tons on top and a tom and the snare on the bottom one so this one these are mounted up here and those are mounted down there kind of opposite with these kind of in different ways so you can see how these come this way and so the alesis is upside down oh well doesn't really matter to me so there you have it. Probably the tiniest little kit that you could have squished into an area. Now uh, now an easy drummer, just a tip here, an easy drummer to get this command set set up, go into settings, e drums, and it's a it's already set up there. It's a it's one of the things you can choose. Elisa's command. How about that? Pretty cool. Alright everybody. Editing me here. I noticed that when I did this footage I didn't turn off one of the mics, the room mic. Uh, that picked up all of the uh, uh, chunking and clanking and clicking and clacking of the uh, of the drum pad. So that's okay. So you can actually hear what it sounds like in the room uh, along with uh, the samples being played. Um, they're not really synced up, but that's okay. You'll get an idea of what it is. So after that, I'll play a, a, a normal one with, uh, with the room mic turned off. So here it goes. See if this works or not. I don't know. We'll <laughs> see. Now you can see how it sounds through Easy Drummer and Reaper. Well, let's demonstrate it for you. Just like that.